That is why Ata al Khurasani. He said, The night prayer gives life to the body and light to your vision and luminosity to your heart and strength to your limbs. And a person who prays at night will wake up the very next morning feeling so happy, a true happiness that mixes with his soul. Sa'id ibn al Musayyib from the Tabi'een, one of the students of Umar radiallahu anhu, he said, he said, a person who prays at night, Allah Almighty will cast luminosity over his face. His face will become radiant. And therefore, people who don't even know him will say, Inni uhibbu hadha rajul, I love that man. If you are sincere worshipping Allah Almighty in the night, Allah Almighty will make your face glow by the day. And Waqi ibn al-Jarrah, who was the shaykh of Imam al-Shafi'i rahimahullah, when people would see him, they would say, Hada malak, that's an angel. Waqi ibn al-Jarrah, he used to pray at night. In fact, Imam Ibn Qayyim, he speaks of certain women who used to pray at night so diligently. They would never miss their night prayer. And when she would be asked, how come you're praying so much at night? She would say, because the night prayer beautifies the face and I would like a beautiful face. But the night prayer even has cosmetic benefits. How much Quran am I expected to recite during the night prayer? Is there a certain amount that I need to read? Is there a threshold or not? The Messenger وسلم, has given us somewhat of an answer to this question. He said, whoever prays at night using 10 ayat from the Quran, Allah Almighty will not write him from the negligent ones. Alhamdulillah. You and I will not be negligent in the eyes of Allah. He said, whoever prays at night using 100 ayat from the Quran, Allah Almighty will document this person as being from the devout. Ya salam. He said, and whoever prays at night with 1,000 ayat from the Qur'an, Allah Almighty will write him amongst the muqantireen.